clutching a Bed Wars game can be one of the hardest things inside the game of Bed Wars, but today I will be doing that in solos by myself, clutching three games in a row. Trust, it'll be crazy, so I'll see you guys later in the vid. Alright, so here we are on our first map, Screamway, getting a Halloween map for the Halloween decorations right now. I'll also set the time tonight, but for clutching up this game, we're first going to need to head to mid. Instead of going and fighting this person, we're going to let him take our bed. Where actually, we can, you know, just give him a head start, build our bridge towards them. There you go. I got you, pink team. Don't even worry about it. I got your back on that one. Now we're going to head to mid, get ourselves some emeralds. And this is the easiest way you can learn how to clutch up is uh, just by going straight to mid. Instead of fighting your first rush, let them take you out, head straight to mid, get yourself geared up, and then you can take on fights. But after this game for my second game, I'll fight out my rushes, get my bed broken normally, and then we can clutch on that one. For this first game, we'll just get ourselves stacked up, and then we'll clutch up from there. All right, looks like pink team is finally heading towards us. Perfect, and little does this guy know, I'm actually gonna get myself a vengeance as soon as he breaks my bed. That dude kinda took the diamonds, a little bit unlucky, it's all good though, because he just broke our bed, which means his bed is now exposed. And this will give us what's really important, is a perfectly safe base to go to. So, while we're clutching up, it's really, really important to remember that most bases, especially if you get your bed taken out early game, are going to be extremely dangerous. So, you're definitely going to want to have a place on the map where you can head to every time that'll be safe for you to go to where you won't die. So now, we know that it's definitely going to be pink base, and soon our base once we kill pink team. We go through this egg bridge at him, and then we can combo him here, build up just to mess with him. That pre-gappy pop is really, really annoying, but it's okay. He's still a little bit higher than us, I don't really like that too, too much. So I'm gonna go ahead and build up here, hit him off, and that's a GG to that guy, so let's continue our clutch out. Coming back to mid now, we got a second round of emeralds, and it looks like they're gonna respawn any second now too. Everybody's still fighting their first rush. Perfect, perfect. So we'll just collect these up. Here we go. First emerald respawn. That's one, two, and three. We're going to skip that last emerald gen. The Ray team looks like he's a little bit aggro towards us. He's saying hi and also what? I'm just going to put hi to him. He sees our level on top of our head. He he's in the level head. Wait until he sees our bed was level though. He's got the Giat. You know what? Just for that. I'll show him some booty. See if he looks at this. He wants a fist fight. I'll give him... The yes, but little does he know, it's a clutch up game and I can't ever fist fight anybody like that. We go run back here, looks like M's gonna respawn again. I don't want this round of emeralds though, we already have eight, that's enough for me to clutch this game up, especially since we have potions. So let's run back with these, and uh, watch as Gray slowly chases us. We go back at base, gonna first buy diamond armor just to make sure we're ready for him. And we buy this. This guy actually is fully fist fighting, so now we can fist fight him back. He's crazy to go against us with this. GG's only to get our double hits in. That's a rip to that guy. So let's go collect the rest of his resources and full send his base to take him out from this game. All right, here we go. We got our egg bridges. Pop one here early on. Does not look like Gray is anywhere in this game. It, he he kind of disconnected. But that means free bed for us and our clutch up just got one step closer. So easy. We only have green team and also yellow team to take out, and then we'll fully be able to say we clutched up this solo game, and we'll be able to head on to our next one. Here we go, popping pots in front of our last rush yellow team. They still got a bed, green team doesn't, but I have absolutely no clue where green team's at, so instead of finding them, I'm just gonna go take out yellow where I know they're gonna be at. Bridge up high, just slowly bridge, make sure we do not fall. This guy obviously sees us, so we're gonna go and fireball jump that. Drop some lovely TNT just for him. There goes our invis. Oh snap, I don't know where you're going. GG's only, dude. And thank you for that bed break. Got that final. And perfect timing, green is coming in for the third party. Little do they know, they're gonna feed me for that free final. Jump up here. We got green fireball jumping. I'm so glad I have my jump boost. Because now we can hop here, fireball them off, hit them once. And that's a GG, on to the next game. Here we go, second game on the map, trick or yeet. I just completely failed to go in that generator. Interesting, interesting map. They brought it back from last year. I think that's our first rush. I think that could be our first rush. The diamond gen's there though, so that has to be our first rush. So let's go gear up and then clap these kids. So for this game, instead of it being like last game, I won't let my bed get broken right away. I'll play this out like a casual game. We'll fight this guy and uh, probably end up killing him. 
But actually, I'm gonna say hey in chat just to make sure everybody in this game targets me because they'll see my 1,000 stars, and who wouldn't target a 1,000 star? I definitely would. So now that my stars out there, we got a reaction from gray and red. Perfect. They'll come in and clap my cheeks in this beautiful, beautiful game. First rush here. Hey, pink team. Bye, pink team. Have a fun time in the void, dude. Oh, snap. We'll have a fun time back in lobby. I didn't think we'd get that bed break, but GG's only. Now we're even more geared up. So let's see who to head for next. Perfect timing too. Blue just had to target us. That's great. And red just saw 47k finals. That's even better. Now we're gonna get targeted like no tomorrow. If anything, let's go and prep for this because in a real game where people are actually saying that they're gonna target me, I would head straight to mid because mid is the best place to go to after your first rush. So let's get there right now. All right, here we go. Barely getting to mid. Got our first emerald gen and that'll be two, four, six, and eight emeralds. Perfect, let's go bring these back and get ourselves even more prepared for this clutch out. So on our way running back, I got these guys actually to come and target me even more by telling them that I'm recording a clutch game. So hopefully they'll come across the entire map to get me. I'm gonna take some refuge over at pink base for a quick, quick second. That way, whenever they come for my bed, they'll be able to get my bed. And uh, I can just sit over here with my diamond armor in my sharpness sword. Well, it's been a few minutes and no one's coming from my base, so instead we're gonna go ahead and push Gray's base. If these guys aren't gonna come for us, then I'm definitely gonna go for them. Make this even more realistic by drawing down the numbers of players in this game. That'll also make it a little bit easier for us to Well, half the game's beds are now taken out. We're just gonna continue our rush towards Gray team. Hopefully get a few finals over here. And then uh, we'll just dab on these kids till we get a dub. There he goes, GG's. All right, it finally, it looks like we're having red team push us. He's slowly coming up to my bed. We finally got our bed broken and now it is time to start clutching this game up. Blue still has a bed and we're actually right next to his base. So yeah, we're gonna go in full sent him. We also got green team asking in front of me. Yes, you can add me. Here we go, fireball blue's bed. Break that, another base down, and that leaves Aqua with the last bed. Perfect for us. All right, back towards mid after breaking Blue's bed. Sorry. Let's see how many M's we can get here. Now four M's from this gen, perfect. We got Blue pushing Aqua base. I actually wanna go in third party this too, which will be beautiful, beautiful. Let's go ahead and build up here so we can get this final, and then Aqua's base and make him into another final. There goes Blue. Hi, Aqua. Oh, bye, Aqua. Oh my gosh, bye-bye for real. He really flew on that one. It's like Peter Pan. Pop this free gap up now that the bed's exposed. Break that open. Let's see, will he notice us? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. No way he saw us. Yeah, can we punch him off? This is probably not the best idea for a clutch game, but it's okay. This guy is a little bit laggy, so we're just gonna use a KB stick. Bye, Aqua. Have a good time. Anyways. We got two people left, red team and green team, so let's go kill them. I definitely didn't just miss the generator again, and uh, then we'll get our dub. Coming back to mid now, grabbing these two emeralds, we can get a tracker. Let's go for red first, because I mean, oh, he's nine meters away? He's invis right behind us. That's actually kind of funny. We'll just act like we don't see him. He's seven meters now. Perfect. Fireball up here. Pop our free gap. Let's see, will he come up to us? Yes, he will. This is the end of red team, and that'll leave us one more. Just gonna fireball to him. GG's only, and let's go. Now that leaves one more person from green team to kill. Just bought the tracker, now let's see. He's 130 meters away, a little far, a little far, but it won't be yet too, too long until this guy is also dead, and we see that amazing W screen. Looks like he's camping over at yellow base. We've got two egg bridges, so let's go push him with this, and then we have an ender pearl just in case we get fireballed. I have sights on him, perfect. Pop our second egg bridge, and actually just to dramatize it, Oh my, did he just miss the generator as well? He's just like me. We go, ender pearl to him. Oh my gosh, he's crazy. Holy crap, but that's gonna be another W, six finals. And uh, yeah, let's go hop into the third clutch up game. Last game now on the map of Darkened, which is basically just a pumpkin map. Resent out again from last year, just like the last map we played on, but definitely the spooky map, making me kind of pee myself from how spooky it is. Just kidding, I would never, kind of, sort of. Shh, we don't tell anybody about it. 
But anyways, let's go get our resources and get our clutch on. All right, here we go. First rushing our side of rush. We also put a hay in chat to see if anyone will react to our star. Does not look like it though, so I do not believe we're gonna get pushed this game, unfortunately. Which means we're gonna have to kind of give someone the extra leverage of having our bed handed to them. Here we go, first CNT down. Ray also just died while bridging, so now that we get the bed, we can also get the final shortly after. Hey, great team. Oh, bye, great team. Ha oh, oh. What? Hello? What? What are you doing? Okay, GG's. Fist only wins the games every day, all day. Now that we got him knocked out, though, let's buy ourselves some tools and continue our rush. Bruh. You're kidding! What the hell? Alright, coming back for round two with pink team, but this time we actually have blue pushing our bed. So, now when we push pink, I need to be very aware- Oh, yeah, you got fireballs? I'm- never mind. I'm not pushing that. Heck no! Well, we got a clutch up game as we wanted. I'm one diamond away as well from sharpness, so we can grab those resources, hold them with us, because, I mean, we're a final, so we don't need an ender chest anymore. Get prepped as blue pushes us too. I might actually just fireball over this guy. We go bait him to jump down. Hey, Blue. <laughs> okay, bow your cheeks. You're mad, bow, you're mad. Now we're gonna bypass him and go steal those diamonds for ourselves. Here we go, grabbing the diamond. Now we have six, which will buy us haste and sharpness. Gonna watch out for fireballs from pink face. And we gotta watch out from Blue insta rushing us. This guy is actually so, so addicted to us. He wants us badly. This time, this time we'll fireball jump over. Come on, I know you wanna drop for me, Blue. I know you like- here, I'll even give you some of this, bro. There. Yeah, you, you like that, right? You like me shifting for you? Come on, I know you want it. Okay, you know what? Screw it. This guy is so lame. We're just gonna bypass him anyways, because, I mean, it's blue. Come on. He's got two short little legs. There's no way he catches up to us. Here we go, second fireball. Just gonna do a little parkour here. And that is blue's bed gone. Easy peasy. Revenge squeezy. Now that we're geared up and ready to go, we only have white team with a bed left. So once we can find Blue, which is, he's, he's at our base, so this should be a pretty easy final. Then we'll carry on our 1v1 for this clutch up. No way, Blue is also going to jump down on us. Hey, Blue. You know what? Actually, just because of you, Blue, I'm going to spam all my fireballs onto you. No way, he lands up top. Oh my gosh, I just jacked that up so bad. After he spammed all that, though, I know he has no more fireballs, so we don't have to worry about that. We'll just run away here. Hey, Blue. Oh my gosh, you are crazy. But not crazy enough, I guess. GG's. And now, we have our 1v1 that we wanted. White team seems to be across the map. I don't think he actually has an idea that we're coming. Which is really, really, really nice for me. So, we can actually take our time here. Because I'm not going to have... Oh, wait, actually, white team just died. That's not good at all. I don't have too, too many blocks. So, I'm actually going to go ahead and drop down here. And then we're going to go and carry over it to pink base. Because of my lack of resources, this is going to be our best bet, I do believe. White team also looks pretty under gear when it comes to upgrades, which does mean that if we camp our generator, we should be able to out-PVP him, hopefully. He popped a pre-gap too, though. Yeah, we got this perfectly easily. Look at that. And we still got half our HP left. Buy ourselves another piece of TNT. We get another gap or two, because why not? And uh, this time, we should be able to kill him. Hopefully, hopefully. Without dying or falling into the void or anything. Pop our pre-gap. Watch out for that fireball. Hey, white team. Yeah, look at your pre-gap too. No way he runs back into his shop. Oh wait, he came back out. I didn't expect that. Interesting, interesting plays. Whoa! Uh, 